Dear learners, welcome to NIOS. This is Colonel Virendra Mohan. I will be taking you through to the senior secondary course and in that, in specific, the military studies, it's lesson number one, which pertains to importance of military studies. Military studies encompasses or includes the defense and strategic studies. Military is a strong armed force that protects the people against various threats. When I say armed force, it doesn't include the paramilitary forces. It only includes the military. Military has got three wings, Army, Air Force and Navy. It is a military science, war and national security studies, war and strategic studies of war, etc. In earlier times, soldiers and kings were trained in the art of fighting. The methods of fighting too have changed over a period of time and the current training differs in contrast to the training which was imparted to the soldiers and kings in the past. Military studies can also be said to be the study of military organizations, analysis of security threats to a country, the art of warfare and the method of using the armed forces in defense of the nation. The meaning of the words, concepts that are used in the definition of military studies. First is the study of military organization. Ancient army started with foot soldiers and later went on to create the Chaturangala force consisting of chariots, elephants, cavalry and infantry. Ancient gurus thought about the army and taught the subject to soldiers to use the horses, elephants and weapons. The study of military organizations continues even today. Second is the national security. Any kingdom or nation would face enemies, the threats from environment and natural calamities, etc. It is therefore important to understand the types of threats and methods to overcome the threats. Analysis of national security determines the size and king of the army that is needed to fight against all identified and unidentified threats. Third is the art of warfare. Warfare can be defined as the activity of fighting between two armies. When two nations fight, their governments, their kings, they would employ different strategies and the tactics to win the battle. Therefore, the armies have to be trained in different strategies as well as the tactics on ground against enemy forces to ensure their win. Therefore, the soldiers and officers were made to learn different tactics, strategies, etc. used in the battle. The curriculum of military studies. Skill at arms. Soldiers were taught the use of personal weapons and made to practice daily to become an expert in handling these weapons. Different weapons were used by the ancient armies in which training was required. These were different types of gadas, various types of weapons used by central tribes and weapons of ancient South Indian armies. Skill of using bow and arrow. One of the major skills soldiers of ancient time was the use of bow and arrow during battles. Other skills a soldier needed were the horsemanship and fighting with the enemies on the horseback during battles. Now I'll take you through the important aspects of military studies. Terrain. Study of terrain where the battle will be fought is of utmost importance. The terrain is selected so that it provides maximum obstacles in the way of the enemy and for the use of own forces. The subject helps in making defenses and forts, etc. and obstacles. We have seen in olden times, the kings, they used to have their own forts. This is one of the pictures showing the fort, which is a very big obstacle for any offense by the enemies, riding enemies, coming to raid your own positions. Tactics. Tactics is the art or plan of deploying army units to maneuver 
to a position of advantage in a battle. Different tactics have to be thought over against different types of enemies and different terrain. For example, the fighting in mountains will be different from fighting in deserts, etc. This picture would depict the old ways of dressing up in the battlefield with different types of weaponry as well as the current weapons as well as the dresses which are worn by the fighting soldiers. Maps and astronomy. These are required for navigating and moving from one place to another. In ancient times, there were no maps and armies used directions, movement of sun and the stars to march from one place to another. Leadership. Military leadership is an art of creative activity. It is based on character, ability and mental power. It is one of the most important factors in war fighting. Logistics. For any war to be successful, the armies have to be equipped and supplied essential items during a battle. Logistics becomes important to win a battle. Ethics of war fighting. Dharma Yudh. We all know this is a very popular term and this is to be the strength of the Indian ethos of the armies of the ancient times. So, in olden times, India always fought a just war, which means the king fought a war only when it was required for the welfare of the kingdom. Similarly, the warrior or soldier had a code of conduct. Being disciplined was the first code. These are the camps where the soldiers used to camp. Warrior courts or laws of ancient armies in India could be summarized as follows. A warrior, that is Kshatriya, in armor must not fight with one who is not wearing the armor. One should fight only one enemy and cease fighting if the opponent is disabled. Aged men, women and children, the retreating or one who held a straw in his lips as a sign of unconditional surrender should not be killed. What is the need to study military study? Need arises for a professional soldier to be highly professional and keep on learning day by day to be current with the enemy's strength. He should be proficient in the use of weapons at all times. He should continuously practice about the weapon and he should always prepare for war at all times and be ready for it. For that, he should be in regular training by the people who are fully trained about it. He should be ready to fight at any time so that he may meet any challenges which may not be foreseen. Political intervention. In a democracy, the political leaders direct the armed forces to prepare and go to war. The ministers, the political hierarchy, the bureaucrat who assists the government must also learn about military. They decide on how the army should be organized. They direct the army to fight when required and they direct the army to plan and execute national security. The government is responsible for the defense of the country and the armed forces are means to achieve national security. A good army is one that can plan its strategy and tactics well and execute it in the battle. A study of art of warfare is therefore very important. A soldier who is taught and trained well in fighting remains happy. His morale is high and he goes to battle very confidently. Army. What is an army? Army is judged by seeing how well its soldiers are trained. Soldiers who are well trained always perform very well. It gives them added confidence in doing their task. In ancient times and even now, a well trained regular army enjoy the confidence to win battles when required. So, in this lesson, I have tried to give you some idea about as to what the military studies are, why it is essential to learn about the military studies and what is the role of the government and how the soldiers can be trained well to ensure the win in any battle. Thank you once again.